Yeah, you can do it. So the weather tomorrow, is there a chance that you don't play, or what are you looking at? Yeah, we'll probably make that decision later on tonight or this afternoon, just going to let it watch it a little bit more. The forecast that I just got and the administration uh, from the National Weather Service wasn't real good. I think high of 36, wind chill at 27 at game time. It's really more about the wind chill than anything else. The, it's supposed to be windy tomorrow. 10 to 15 miles an hour and they even said gusts up to 23 um, north northwest so obviously it's going to be chilly so we'll we'll figure that out here probably in the next few hours what about the field here? conditions wouldn't they be a factor too uh yeah i mean the field obviously it's melting right now but with the sun out but uh it's going to be wet and freeze and unfreeze it'll be a little it'll probably be a little wet if we play tomorrow um but really, it's probably going to be more about the, the air temperature. If you can't play tomorrow, do you just play one game Wednesday? I would say probably yes, just due to once the sun goes down tomorrow, uh, you know, the game was scheduled for three, so it'll stay at three as far as I know. And, uh, you know, I think the high on Wednesday is now is only like in the low 40s. So it could get pretty cold pretty quick. But uh, with with, with the series coming up and close to the weekend, I would say we would just play one. That's what we did last year when we were at Charlotte. When we got rained out on Tuesday, we, we just played one on Wednesday. Um, I would say as of right now, if we pit play one game, we would start with Lander. So right now that's that's the look. If, if, we, if we do play tomorrow, see this is the issue. I don't know if we're playing tomorrow. Uh, we might flip. Wicklander to Wednesday. If we're just going to play on Wednesday, then we'll probably go with Wicklander. The speed your team demonstrated, I know we've talked about it a lot, but they're, they're clearly able to be successful on the base pass. Yeah, there's four guys that, you know, I'll give the steal to if, uh, if I feel like the pitcher's a little slow to the plate, or uh, I mentioned that the other day, if it's the right, you know, count, pitch count example breaking ball off speed type count or they're showing us that with two strikes one one ball two strikes a lot of times teams like to throw sliders in the dirt and try to get the hitter to chase well if you do that you know we may be running so that's the chance you have to take and I think that's what you know just having the opportunity to run a little bit puts a little pressure on that pitching coach over there or who's ever calling those pitches if they want to throw off speed pitches it gives us a little bit of advantage to steal that base well, nice. Yeah, it, for me personally, you know, making decisions, running an offense, you know, it's, it, we're, we're not going to just stand around and, and wait for somebody to hit one in the gap or hit one out of the park. We're going to we're going to do some things. We've only hit and run a couple of times this year in the first 10 games, but uh, obviously we've attempted almost 30 stolen bases and uh, been pretty successful. And it's led to some some runs and. Uh, We'll continue to do that. So it's it's nice having that option. What do you know about Charlotte? You know, just uh, <clears throat> kind of like last year's team, they have lost a few of their players and pitchers from last year's team like we have, but um, a solid team, older team for the most part, and uh, they've only played one road game and played all the, the rest of their – I think they played ten at home and one on the road or neutral side. And, uh, you know, just like any team that comes into Bomb Stadium, they want to – they want to get after the Razorbacks, SEC school, and uh, I know last year they gave us a great effort and they beat us. Do you get a sense that there may be a revenge factor or anything among the players? I don't know about revenge. I think, uh, you know, I think the team's motivated anyway. We've still got a lot of guys fighting for positions, and, you know, we just, we just want to play well. We still feel like that we're, we can be a lot better than we've shown. We've had some good days or good innings, but really we haven't. We haven't dominated anybody, in my opinion. Um, so I don't know, but I wouldn't say revenge. I think, obviously, we want to win the game and, and keep the momentum going into the weekend. Following up on that, Dave, the DH position, um, where does that rank kind of on your list of things to straighten yeah. out? I mean, it's trying to figure it out. You know, do we, we platoon with a right on, right-handed hitter against the lefty or vice versa or just go with a guy and, uh, you know, I give him good hearts pretty good shot at it and hadn't gone great and you know Harris has had a couple of games been on base a lot but finally got to hit the other day in a walk and two walks the previous game and uh, you know McFarland's had a shot at it and it hasn't gone great we need to find somebody that that's 
that, that can maybe grab that spot. And I may I may give Goodhart a shot if they start a righty. I, I may go with Harris against the lefty, but I still may go with Harris anyway. I don't know yet. I'm just kind of looking at it. What you like? You played in some cold weather. I wonder what's the threshold. What, I mean, kind of yeah. the cutoff point. I mean, we wouldn't play today. I'll tell you that. Yeah. And I don't. I don't know about tomorrow. I mean, the wind chill under under 30 degrees is, is not good. Um, for that long, we got we got a few kids that are not feeling real good. A couple coaches aren't feeling real good. I think it's just from being outside so much in that type of weather and sweating and not sweating and being cold and shivering and uh, you know you just you gotta you just gotta be smart about it. But uh, I would say you know the temperature that we're looking at. Right now, for Tuesday's ball game, it's it's not good enough for us to play. You know, we've got to see maybe that climb a little bit. I think the softball team actually had a delay because the field was too cold. Is that is that something that factors in here as well? The the field was too what? It was too cold. Is what I was told. Well, you know, they have you know when you've got an all dirt field and it gets wet, it can freeze and then it starts to thaw out and then it gets wet. So I don't know if that wasn't the case, but. Obviously, the field plays a big part, and if it's not playable, the umpires have the final call on that. I think our field will be fine. Uh, maybe not so much tomorrow, but, but for sure on Wednesday.